careful you don't What's, tumble uh, down. Oh, you don't know the variety. There's what, um, a thousand different Actually, kinds. I do know. This is Halcyon Blue. Oh. Francis Williams. <laughs> he knows them. And the, the old-fashioned variety is, the common name is called August Lily because that's when it throws its flower spike up. Mm. That's a pretty silvery fern. Is, is Japanese painted fern. And for whatever reason, these are known as Christmas ferns. I think it's because they're evergreen and they still, right. in the winter, they're still visible. Hmm. There's another Columbine. Columbine. Yeah. I recognize that. That's some uh, ground cover here. Yeah, that's, that's Waltmeister. Oh, that's the Waltmeister all over the place here. There's another azalea. That's a bright red one. Hmm. They like shade, don't they? Yeah. And is it ivy anything? But it's just Boston ivy. Its biggest draw is in the fall. It's really, really, really red. Chris is putting in the air conditioning system. These are sweet williams. They've been reseeding for years. We've never, I don't even know where the original plant is in. Do they have a skin? Uh, probably not. A nice rose specimen here. Yeah. Did you smell it? Very fragrant. Mm. Smell it. How fun These are the, the those in bush roses. It's wow. Like it's like a, oh boy, this is like soap. And these are blue bells. And those are, this is your liatris, Ron. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, sure it is. Yeah, you bet. More in July. Yeah. It doesn't have an odor, but it's kind of nice. Ooh! Nice detail. Yeah. And this, of course, it doesn't look like anything now, but these are Christmas roses. And they flower in the late, you can see in here the old spent flowers, but these bloom in the summer, or not summertime, in um, March. Oh. Big white cup flower, and then it, as it ages, it turns pink and then finally to green. And this is sort of an unusual plant, not everybody has those. Hmm. 40 years. That's a very long time. Forty years that plant's been around at least. Yeah, it's <laughs> Cleomes back there, the spider flower. They get really tall. Yeah, can't grow those. They need uh, real moist soil. And they reseed like crazy. Yeah, I tried to plant some. They're too hot and dry. It's a really pretty pasta called Great Expectations. Did you get those seeds from here, Ron? It's a bulb. You got it's it. BJ's. Oh. And this tree is a. Apusa dogwood. And it's usually here. You can see some. Oh, it yeah. blooms later on than the others, and oh. it's usually just a big mountain of white. Jeez, what a, it's been around a while. Too. Well, not really, because he took that tree out of it. Which is a yeah. big butternut um, tree. The butternut was actually where the golden chain tree stood. Golden chain tree. Yeah. Yeah. Golden chain tree. Yes. Mr. Skunk. flowers off where you see all these seed pods it's all flowers and they're like a purpley pink color it's real uh, very early in the spring it's beautiful oh, we missed that already. yeah and over mm -hmm. here is more of our collection of hostas mm -hmm. this one's called mm -hmm. i did have that name too these get knocked flat in the winter time don't they well they the foliage just dies back yeah. and there this hosta is a, like almost yellow and that's its natural color there's a big weed. Yeah, there's a really big weed. Let's we don't want a video of that. That's not a good thing. <laughs> what about this uh, stuff right around That's there? That's forget me nots. Forget me nots. That was right one of there. Mom's absolute favorite things. It's really pretty sky blue flowers. You can just barely see the, the remains of it. It's the tiniest little blue flower. Is that poison ivy growing up that cedar tree over there? No, that was um Queen Virginia is. creeper. And there's a giant stand of liatris. Oh, yeah. See, mine will be evergreen. I bought mine as a ground cover. And this is evening primrose, but I don't know why they call it evening primrose, because it's blooming now. This is an annual one. Probably just weeded that out, and yeah. got some nice ferns yeah. and some more uh, 
box gloves. Box glove. What about this thing? Well, those were lupins. You oh, can that's see, what they look yeah, like. Yeah, this should be cut off. But Lupines. if we, if we yeah. leave them, they'll just reseed all over the place. This is another really nice day lily. It's like a burgundy color, and the edges are all done in silver. Or like a white. It looks really pretty. What do you got here? Some That's a uh, foxglove, which will bloom oh. next year. And look, at there's lots of them around These here. just came up? They're yeah, just Yeah, all by themselves. There's another one back here, too. You hardly have to do anything yourself. Gardens, and there's some, some very nice weeds. And over to Ron's left are... Lilies that have been here ever since oh, probably yeah. the house was yeah, first built. Those. Either tiger lilies and they're orange with little black spots. Yeah. And this is a beautiful crop this year. They're really scary. The rain ahead. Yeah, really scary. So that I think that will look more in July. So it'll be an awesome Get some violets this. down below it. Yeah. And remember those coming up every year. Yeah, took out some of his, uh, uh, what do you call it, crepe, not crepe myrtle, but um, his uh, lilac, he had them all lined up here. And this one heavily this year, you can see the speck. Yeah, it uh, has a nice fragrance. Yes. Got a lot of stuff over oh, here. Yeah, it'll, it'll stink too after they dry. <laughs> I always like this little... This little elbow that came yeah. out here. And that's, try to ignore the weeds, but this is a variegated butterfly bush that gets some really beautiful red flowers. And I can see the boys must have yeah, got the, the ball, the ball in there. This and butterfly then, bush is small. Is that the specimen uh, get larger than it, that? Or? It's, it's um, dwarf? Not dwarf, it's later because it's colder here. Oh. It really doesn't come into a zone until. July, August, September, then it, it'll have filled out quite a bit. Yeah, our specimens are huge, they're, yeah. and they're going to get 20 by 20. And there's more dailies. Here's one of them. That'll bloom in a couple of days. Yeah, it's called Strawberry Candy. Uh, that purple and yellow guy, I don't remember that Johnny one. Johnny Jump Ups? Oh, yeah, Johnny Jump Ups. And they reseed themselves? All or? over the place. Because here, you can see the mutant. They're all from the same seed, but there's color variations. Oh, you can, you can tell the original plant then. Yeah. Right there, there. There's another variation again. Dude, mom liked those. They have, they're just like happy looking things. Some more impatience. Yeah. More lupins. This time oh, look at that special. rose color, and then there's some beautiful purple ones wow. over there. Wow, yeah, those are nice. And the remains of the poppies. This bush here is a... Cotone Easter. Oh yeah, Cotton Easter. <laughs> yeah. And it has a f uh, flower? Um, There's a seed. A, a little well, red looking... The berries. It has just a little tiny... Cotone Easter, yeah. Cotton Easter. That's the way it's spelled. A whole bunch of foxgloves, smaller than you normally see. And that white guy all by himself that there? That poor thing is a rose, but it bugs it it's like it up. Oh. And that silvery foliage stuff is dusty melon. Oh. The perennial one in that. Yeah, they, they don't look, uh, yeah. Along with the just it does really good. This uh, pine looking thing That's here? That's a is Japanese juniper. Japanese and juniper. That looks just like a big mound of blue green. Really yeah, that's nice. nice. I bet you there's some stuff hiding in there. Probably. Baseballs and golf balls from years. Missing children. That looks like a poppy. A spent poppy it right is. there. It is. The little, these little heads. Yeah. Those are the heads of the poppy. There's open flowers there. Oh, look at the size of those suckers. Here's a nice Yeah, it is a nice example. specimen. Yeah. Is that the opium one? No, it's just regular, what they call the oriental poppy. Yeah. And there are going to be lots of flowers. If you look at there's buds that haven't even opened up. And the purple, what's that, that spent one? Well, those are, um, 